as we know, we are at the greatest events in human history. The only world we know is about to be destroyed in our own eyes. But most of us don't know what's really happening. Not aware or being blinded by its paths of modern methods and manipulations done by the elites. As soon we'll be showing evidence of the plans of the elites so evil, so devastating to know, and people around the world will be shocked. This documentary was made to help you deal of what's coming, but only to understand the process we as humanity should withstand the reality and prepare for the timeline coming, placing us at the bottom of its score that we don't know yet the truth is right behind our eyes. Behind the scenes, so intelligent that we hardly take into notice of what I implied to do first and foremost. Things that made me think, oh come on, is this really the truth behind it? And decide me to dig deeper for the augmented truth. Shall we continue? Are you ready? Join me to explore the world of augmented truth to a journey down the rafters. New the forest fires around the world, like in mostly parts in USA. For example, that the fires the in California. It forget to seen. burn the trees. And we're able to cut through That's the houses. The tree. They burn trees inside and out and been able to lift tilt cars or smash them. Are we sure that these are that ordinary nuts. forest fires? Look what happened to Hawaii several months ago in year 2023. Environmental experts are pushing back on claims that the devastating wildfires in Hawaii were caused by global warming instead of poor, poor, pointing to the poor state land management practices. Global warming is another set of things to explain further. But to the main issue, forest fires over 98% of wildfires are human caused. The group states on its website, human ignitions coupled with an increasing amount of non-native fire prone grasses and shrubs and a warming, drying climate have greatly increased the wildfire problem. Some claim Maui hosted a conference about making the entire island into a smart island city. In January 2023, it will host another summit about using artificial intelligence to govern the island, proving recent wildfires were directly set to transform these ideas into reality. Though it was said it was false, the Hawaii International Conference on System Sciences it was not turning Maui into a smart island. It was said an annual gathering focused on emerging issues in the information technology sector globally. Next month's Hawaii Digital Government Summit similarly is not specifically focused on using AI on Maui but, but now governments across the state can better adapt emerging technologies. It also takes place in another Hawaii island, not Maui. Nevertheless, the facts. Authorities continue to go what's part of the wildfires in Maui Social media users are suggesting government officials have long been planning to raise the island in order to realize their vision of so-called smart city. The, the post draw on existing far-right groups that global-minded organizations such as United Nations and World Economic Forum are plotting to forcibly move people into futuristic smart cities or 15-minute cities where their freedoms will be severely curtailed by advanced technologies. So now it's in interesting in the month of September of last year of 2023, Hawaii is hosting the Digital Government Summit utilizing AI to govern the island. The man continues, it's almost like they're resetting something to start the building for this, but the post not only misrepresent the concepts of smart cities, and 15-minute cities, but also makes 
false assertions about the conference themselves. Smart cities generally refers to communities that utilize new technologies to improve operations, while 15-minute cities is an urban design principle that emphasizes building more compact communities where everyday needs can be found within 15-minute walk. They aren't designed to restrict people's movements or freedom, said by the conference. Indeed, the only mention of AI on the official agenda is a talk from technology expert Jack Shaw, titled The Digital Transformation for Government, The Future is Now. This session focuses on unlocking the power of emerging in order to improve government. In either case, similar presentations he's given at other events haven't touched on Maui. Instead, he highlighted the digital innovations in the Eastern European nations of Estonia, as well as Utah's use of AI in cattle's branding, combating unemployment benefit fraud, and air quality analysis. Another agenda we live in a world of highly toxic substances are being used in our technologies, especially in our bud bulbs and lamps. Look out at our vaccines like flu shots in every injection to our children. Required for these flu shots, it contains 25 microorganisms of mercury or 50,000 parts of per billion. The FPA classifies a liquid with 20 parts per billion of mercury as hazardous waste. The limit for drinking water is two parts per billion. Very shocking to know this, but let's look out at a report by Environmental International. An overview of worldwide and regional time trends in total mercury levels in human blood and breast milk from 1966 to 2015, and their associations with health effects. It highlights that mercury exposure overview prior to the Minamata Convention is provided. Total mercury levels in blood and breast milk have significantly declined since the 1960s. Total mercury blood and in breast milk levels were found the highest in South America. Health effects of mercury exposure were conclusive only for certain conditions. Further, epidemiological studies are needed to comprehend health effects of mercury. Approximately 80% of mercury emissions in South America is from the Amazon. Burning in the last two years will likely increase mercury exposure globally. Mega dams in Amazon could be contributing to high levels of methylation. Exposure of the Amazonian populations is two to six times the reference closest. Actions in the Amazon carry the potential to have global repercussions. Mercury is among the 10 most dangerous chemicals for public health and is a priority concern for 128 signatory countries of the Minamata Convention. Mercury emissions to the atmosphere increased 20% between 2010 and 2015, with South America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and Southeast Asia as the main contributors. Mercury is a pollutant of global concern. To protect human health and environment from mercury population, the Minamata Convention on Mercury entered into force in 2017. Of the 80% mercury emissions in South America from the Amazon, presence of this metal is ubiquitous and highly dynamic. This metal is likely increasing with global consequences. Events of the last two years, including extensive biomass burning and deforestation, as well as mining activities and the construction of large-scale projects such as dams, here we present a concise profile of this mobilization highlighting the human exposure to these metal areas without mining history. Mercury reaches the food chain in its most toxic form called methyl mercury, intoxicating human populations to the intake of contaminated fish. Amazonian populations present levels of over 6 
ppm of hair mercury and according to the 175 by 250 by 5 by 1 ratio for methyl mercury intake mercury hair mercury brain mercury blood consume two to six times the internationally recognized reference doses this exposure is alarmingly higher than the ad of other populations worldwide here an illustration of mercury cycle as follows it cycles from earth to the atmosphere to the ocean and back to earth in the ocean mercury is converted to monometal mercury a neurotoxin that moves up the food chain and becomes highly concentrated in tuna swordfish and other fish that people usually eat in another form of what is called pollution in atmospheric contaminations just like in chemtrails in airplanes denied by our governments for a very long time as you see chemtrails refers to the theory that governments or other parties are engaged in a secret program to add toxic chemicals to the atmosphere from aircraft in a way that forms visible plumes in the sky somewhat similar to contrails in various different motivations for this alleged spraying or speculated including sterilization reduction of light expectancy mind control or weather control and latest it is used also for global warming control it has been followed by geoengineering practices like spreading in the stratosphere geoengineering aerosols it's called to protect us from global warming really aerosol protect us from climate change is it true to control for global warming not so but the fact the truth is we're spreading heavy metals like aluminum barium cadmium and titanium into the atmosphere of ours it's sorted in our brains and can cause parkinson's and alzheimer's disease did you know in so many nations if you don't say no to organ donations your organs will be properties of the state especially in holland the netherlands human organs for transplant especially if we are orphans it's easy for the government to take action on it it's been raised to be law during the Nazi occupation in Europe years ago. In our existence now on earth, that the current Pope says that hell does not exist? During the meeting of Scalfari, a journalist asked the Pope Francis where bad souls go, to which he was quoted as responding, they are not punished. Those who repent obtain God's forgiveness and take their place among the ranks of those who contemplate him but those who do not repent and cannot be forgiven is distance to be to disappear a hell does not exist the disappearance of sinning souls exists being weird that in vatican audience hall is full of references of reptilians snakes serpents and when did the Pope make the sign of the devil? In the U.S., did you know that legally you can abort 
fully born fetus. It's called as partial birth abortion. It's not really a murder. The law which was signed by former President Bush in 2003 after an eight-year-long congressional fight prohibits doctors from knowingly performing a partial birth abortion, a procedure it defines as one which the person performing the abortion deliberately and intentionally vaginally delivers a living fetus until, in the case of a head-first presentation, the entire fetal head is outside the body of the mother or in the case of Bridge presentation. Any part of the fetal trunk past the navel is outside the body of the mother. But partial birth is not a medical term. It's a political one. A highly confusing one at that which both sides disagree even on how many procedures takes place. At what point in pregnancy and exactly which procedures the law actually bans. In February 2006, it was made another of a act called Partial Birth Abortion Ban Act has once again pushed the abortion issue into the spotlight. Why do Hollywood celebrities promote use of facial creams containing the foreskins of baby boys? What is baby foreskin? Has an anti-aging finally gone too far? How do we put an end to this use of baby foreskin in skin cream cosmetics, the practice of using baby foreskins in very expensive skin creams, isn't this a form of human organ harvesting? The baby foreskin facial is a real thing. Give five facts that you don't know that it's true. Number five, did you know diseases like AIDS, Ebola, Zika and SARS are actually patented? Did you know why it's actually patented? They are main, mainly man-made diseases which been patented to polio virus. Are you kidding me? Number 4. Your cell phone, laptop, tablet and televisions are monitored 24-7 even if it's on or off, whether you are at home or at your office, we are constantly monitored by whom? Number two, did you know in 2018, Monsanto, known for its GMO or genetically modified organism seeds and crops, plus its very poisonous Monsanto's Westbred portfolio, was born by Bayer a chemical giant that produces mostly poisons. In other words, food supplies had been largely controlled by producers of carcinogenic poison. The well-known Agent Orange, a herbicide and defoliant, one of the tactical used rainbow herbicides. It was used by the U.S. military as part of its herbicidal warfare program. Operation Rand's Hand during the Vietnam War from 1961 to 1971. It causes various birth deformities and diseases. It was used to combat the foes and then destroy the crops. It's a mixture of equal parts of two herbicides in addition to its damaging environmental effects. Traces of dioxin, mainly TCC, TCDD, the most toxic of its type found in the mixture have caused major health problems for many individuals who were exposed at their offspring. Agent Orange was produced in the U.S. in the late 40s and was used in industrial agriculture and sprayed along railroads and power lines to control undergrowth forests. During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military procured over 20 million gallons consisting of 50-50 mixture of 24D and dioxin contaminated 245T. Nine chemical companies were all ready to produce it. The Dow Chemical Company, Monsanto Company, Diamond Shamra Corporation, Hercules Incorporated, the Thomson Hayward 
Chemical Company, the United States Rubber Company or Uni Royal, Thompson Chemical Corporation, the Hoffman Tap Chemicals Incorporated, and AgriSelect. The government of Vietnam says 4 million people in the Vietnam War were exposed to the defoliant and as many 3 million have suffered illness because, because of Agent Orange. While the Vietnamese Red Cross in this, it estimates up to 1 million people were disabled or have health problems as a result of exposure of the said agent. The U.S. government have described it, these figures as unreliable while documenting, documenting cases of leukemia, hot skin lipoma, and various kinds of cancer is exposed in the U.S. military veterans. An epidemiological study done by the Centers for Disease Control and showed that there was increase in the rate of birth defects of children of military personnel as a result of Agent Orange. It's caused enormous environmental damage in Vietnam, over 3 million one hundred thousand or 7,700 acres or 31,000 kilometers, 12,000 square mile of forest were defoliated. Defoliants eroded tree cover and seedling forest stock, making reforestation difficult in numerous areas. Animal species diversity is sharply reduced in contrast with sprayed and sprayed areas. The environmental destruction caused by the, this defoliation has been described by the Swedish Prime Minister Olof Palme, lawyers, lawyers, historians, and other academics as an ecocide. Use of Agent Orange in Vietnam War resulted in numerous legal actions. UN ratified United Nations General Assembly Resolution 3172 and the Environmental Modification Convention lawsuits filed on behalf of both U.S. and Vietnamese veterans sought compensation for damages. Agent Orange was first used by the British Armed Forces in Malaya during the Malayan Emergency. It was also used by the U.S military in Laos and Cambodia during the Vietnam War because forests near the border with Vietnam were used by the Viet Cong. It was perfect match made in hell Agent Orange. Number two, facts. In 2018, Hillary Clinton admitted that she deleted 33,000 emails from a private server as the Secretary of State, not only that she used a hammer to smash her cell phone, SIM cards, and hard drive, any further evidence could be used against her in a court of law. Is destroyed by far in a convenience in an office of a mansion. And did she get away from that? And last but not the least, Number one, President Obama received a 2009 Nobel Peace Prize in months after his inauguration. Why, for God's sake, he came from nowhere and achieved nothing all the time. In the following eight years, he invaded seven countries Afghanistan, Pakistan, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Iraq, and Syria and drop a bomb in every 20 minutes who on earth is on that Nobel Prize committee. In this earth, is what you think and guess. In all of these things happen, they were completely ignored by the mainstream media. Not one news channel covered or questioned any of it. Totalitarian silence in effect. So when I thought I've seen it all, all this, this came to happen and became the president of the U.S., Mr. Trump, it was thought there was two political sides of the knife, left and right. Left is for the common people, right for the rich people. And later I soon found out that not reflect reality at all. Obama had charmed everybody, including myself. But look what I've said. He invaded seven countries in eight years of his presidency. He was a Democrat for God's sake. And Democrats of 
President Clinton's sex scandal after sex scandal. Why on earth did he get away from it? It seems making left and right wing Democrats and Republicans making two wings of the same bird. And besides being leftist, I get I decided to give Trump a benefit of the doubt. And how did he get elected in the first place? And just before the elections, WikiLeaks arose founder Julian Assange, an Australian editor, publisher, activist who founded WikiLeaks in 2006, was a giant online library that possesses the world's most sensitive documents being poured by whistleblowers at the highest level, much information deal with war, spying, and corruption. WikiLeaks published highly incriminating evidences of the corruption within the Clinton Foundation and the Clinton presidential campaign. So what happened? This happened January 20, 2017. Donald J. Trump was inaugurated as President of the United States of America. But how did WikiLeaks obtain the evidences of the Clinton corruption? It was leaked by Seth Rich. This 27-year-old Rich was an employee of the Democratic National Committee, DNC, and his murder died about an hour and a half after being shot twice in the back, spawned by several right-wing conspiracy theories. And who killed Seth Rich? A big question mark. Donald Trump as president of the U.S. and then comes out of nowhere, sets the enigma of the queue.